Look at that success rate. 10% success rate. Aw. All right, we gotta give him a kiss. A kiss goodbye. It's the last time I might see you, Jimmy. We got, all right, we got the mini me. We got the rune coins. Please. Hey babe, it's Avidic here and welcome back to Rune X. Today's video is going to be all about this little magic chest right here next to us, or we should call it the enchantment chest. The enchantment chest is one of the main ways to get some of the best items in the game, but it's also good for a bunch of other stuff like money making, slayer, bossing, which I will get into all of that. Oh, including the doppelganger pet, which is one of the best and most rare pets in the game. As you can see, he copies whatever you're wearing. He is but a shadow. Now before we get into all of that, I did want to link you guys to this nice thread that Ralph made on all of the best in slot gears in the game. This can help you get an idea of what you need and what you don't need from the mat- But uh, what the hell? Dude, I literally just noticed. Look at the picture on the thread I'm just talking about now. Fucking Ralph, he's right here. Dude, look at his dragon too, sparkly and beautiful. It's like he knows I'm looking at his thread right now, but does he know I'm looking at his butt? Didn't think so! Oh, we're also here with Rob, by the way. A little boring from the front, but you turn him around, ooh. And by the way, guys, this is gonna be your last chance to enter the $200 bond giveaway. We're gonna have three winners. All you have to do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your in-game name down below. We also had two videos the past two days, Saturday and Friday. Make sure that you enter on those as well to increase your chances of winning. All right, so let's get into it. A couple months ago, they actually expanded the enchantment system and just like tripled or quadrupled all of the different things you can make. Now, we're gonna start off on tier one and there's gonna be a lot of stuff here that's useful to pretty much everybody. So one thing this can be good for is making money as a lower level player. If you click on Bag of Riches, you can sacrifice five vote tickets for a one in four chance of getting five bags of riches. These are 35 mil each. That's 175 mil if you do get that. But it is a bit of a gamble. Usually you can find vote tickets for a little cheaper than this. So if you do find some for maybe like 10 mil on there, I'd say swoop them up and uh, have a go at it. All right, so next up we've got some enchantments that are mainly useful for Slayer. Also decent for bossing. First of all, we have Herbicide here. So what Herbicide is, is when you get a grimy herb drop, it'll basically clean it for you and give you double that XP. When you imbue it, it'll be triple. Now I wonder if we can buy one of these. I wonder if I actually have one. Oh, look, Ralph back at it again. Is this a new max set? Dragon plate legs? What even are those? Oh, he's, sw oh, he's switching. Next up is Bone Crusher. As you guys know, Bone Crusher automatically buries bones for you. This one's really cool though. Gives you double XP when it buries the bones for you, the imbued version. And last but not least, the Holy Wrench. Now this item's not that bad. Being on RSPS, prayer potions and super stores are a lot cheaper than here on real runescape. Oh my god, 5% success rate? Whoa! Maybe it really gives you a lot more than, I guess that would make sense. You know, there's certain uses for that if you're AFKing somewhere for a really long time and you just want to have only prayer potions. Well, I did buy a few of these. I got Herbicide, the Bone Crusher, and the Holy Wrench. I do want to test it out. 50-50 rate. We should be able to get this one. Please. Oh, we got it! <laughs> Hell yeah! Alright. Oh, it tells everybody, too. Alright, let's try the Bone Crusher. This is also a 50-50. Gimme! Yeah! Oh my god, two for two! I know it's only 50-50, but it got me excited. Now, there's no way. There's no way we get this. 5% rate? If I do, I'm going nuts. It's not It's not like that great. It's cheap. But fucking 5%? Nah, it's gone, you bitch. Alright, it's okay. I didn't want that one anyways. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, is this- has this been Ra's pet the whole time? How the hell did he get that? That's actually crazy, I really didn't think you could even get this pet, he's got a nice glow on it too. Alright, so we got a couple items here you can upgrade. We got the Fighter Torso E, and the Barrel Chest Anchor imbued as well. These use rune coins, which you can get from uh, exchanging items over there at the rune coin exchanger. You can also buy items from the donator store that will give you more rune coins on every exchange. 5% success rate, Jesus Christ, do I have an anchor? Could give it a go. Oh god, I have one. Fuck it, we'll try it. 5%, 5% rate, I'm, there's no way. There's no way. But I mean, I'll take it. It's quite a bit better than a normal one. Oh, it's gonna take it from me. Alright, now we start getting into some serious stuff. Enchanted party hat. What does that mean? Does it mean it's always changing colors? Literally three of every single party hat and a rainbow party hat. Oh, and three blacks as well, Jesus. I have two party hats. 
Oof, they are quite expensive. Couple hundred mil to 400. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is the enchanted party hat. It's 2.5 a bill. Skin colored party hat? <laughs> Doesn't it look like it? It says pink, but it looks like skin colored. Alright, there is the same thing with the Halloweens. Same thing with this enchanted cape as well. Actually, that's not bad. It's 100% success rate, too. What about this one? This one's 50. Just a little bit different. But yeah, these are all 100% success rate, which is kind of cool. Because there's no risk of losing like 20 party hats. Alright, let's move on to the tier 2 now. And stuff's gonna start getting better here. We're actually gonna start getting into some of the best items in the game. These are those grand boots that Ralph was wearing, showing off. But let's start up here on the Elite Void Armor. Now this one's really good to get. It's better than the Elite Void on RuneScape because it actually gives you attack bonuses, strength bonuses, range strength, magic damage percentage up, and then it also gives you prayer. Normally Elite Void on RuneScape just gives you prayer. Alright, so we got a little more. You got some accessories here. Uh, these are for pets. 10% success rate on that one. Another 10%. Hit points, prayer, stamina, and special accessories. That's a pretty good one. Oh jeez, dude. Now this thing has got to be expensive. What do we got? Easter, Summer, Grim, and Winter. Easter Party Hat 3 Bill. Now this one's actually really cool. If you guys watched my video yesterday, I showed off the task system. We opened a bunch of task caskets. Now of course, these are the way to get tasks, but these only give you like easy, and then a chance between easy, medium, and hard. If you get these, the Master Task Bottle, I believe you can choose a hard one. Alright, I got a bunch of these. We might as well see how, how many we can make. Let's do it. 33% chance. Nope. That's a fail. Oh, that's a fail? Come on. <laughs> Alright, now this one we should get. Yeah, there we go. Alright. We beat it. Not bad. Give me that. D -d Delete that one. Alright, give, give me an elite. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Must be wearing a tall car call while complete. That's easy, dude. Usually it's something ridiculous. Wear some flippers, bitch. You don't get to use your boots. In fact, hold a cane. 69 Zolras and High Elk 8 Sears Rings. That's actually not that bad. 69 Zolras is not as bad as some of the other ones we've seen. Sears Rings are pretty cheap. Alright, so this one is super useful for pretty much everything. Especially bossing. And uh, I could see this being used in PKing as well. Now they added different hearts on here. This is the imbued heart that obviously boosts your magic like on RuneScape. But this one does range. And this one does melee. And if you combine all of them... A little bit of luck, 25% chance. You get the Enchanted Heart, which basically does everything, you know, all the things these do in one. So it's basically like a five minute long overload. Now, this is obviously good for bossing, any kind of PBM, because you save inventory space. You also don't have to worry about using a bunch of different potions and stuff, or having three of these different ones out. But for PKing, I, I could see people popping this before they go out to the Wilderness, before they go out to Edge, or, you know, up to Mage Bank. Because it lasts for five minutes, so you can pop it, put it in the bank, go out and fight. And then by the time, and then when your bank can get you more food, you can just use it again. So you get a couple of these little different resource items. Uh, you can actually trade them in for a chance of getting the Grand Crest. This thing contains a lot of really good stuff. Also, the boots that you need to make the Grand Boots. This one's a 100% success rate. I like that. Because if you're going to be sacrificing these, they're quite expensive, I believe. You definitely don't want to lose them. Also, the Grand Gloves, too. These you get all from the, the Grand Crest. We were opening a few of those, actually, on yesterday's video. Alright, that's Tier 1 and Tier 2. Let's move on to Tier 3. And I haven't really checked this one out as much, except for the Doppelganger pet. I was telling you guys about this one. Easily one of the rarest pets in the game, um, and I really like it, too. But look at that success rate. 10% success rate. And you gotta sacrifice a Mini-Me pet, which is already... Uh, expensive. It's basically the same thing as a doppelganger, except it's not shadowed. But I think we're gonna have to give her a chance. Fuck, dude, if I got a doppelganger pet, it's gonna be absolutely nuts. Alright, let's put him down. Oh, he's so cute, though. <laughs> Aww. Alright, we gotta give him a kiss. A kiss goodbye. It's the last time I might see you, Jimmy. We got- Alright, we got the mini-me. We got the rune coins. Please. Yes. No! <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> I didn't really expect 10% success rate. That's pretty low. We still have our doppelganger pet. Oh, you want to kiss too, buddy? There you go. I heard he's like, what the fuck are you? What, what are you doing? Oh, Jesus. So, this is, oh my god, this is like the master, the end game party hat. The fused party hat. It has the seasonal and the enchanted. So, here's the enchanted party hat. All of these. Also, the seasonal party hat, all of these together. And then a dark party hat as well, which makes the f We gotta see how much the fuse is. I literally can't even find it being traded. Who has this? Nope, there's nobody has this. 
This doesn't even exist in the game. Now, I'm sure it does. Some, some, probably Ralph probably has that, honestly. You know, I didn't even know this ring existed. Grand ring has the effects of vigor, an imbued wealth, and recoil. And then when you fucking imbue it, it's literally double the stats. Jesus Christ, 14 strength bonus, 14 range strength. That's really not bad at all. Grand max cape, something I'll never get because I'm lazy. And then last but not least, it actually, a Grand Master Task Bottle. We got a couple of these in yesterday's video when we're opening them up. This basically gives you a guaranteed Elite, or you can get between an Elite and a Master. And we got two Masters from these. Some of them are pretty crazy. Now, sadly, I do not have an Imbuing Stone. Oh my god, it is expensive. There's only one here. It might not be 1.3 bill. Or maybe it, maybe it is. I'm not sure. I feel wrong. I feel empty without Jimmy sitting in my bank. I mean, we did get the Herbicide and the Bone Crusher imbued. But I didn't want to lose my boy. Well, alright guys, that is going to be it for our video showcasing the item enchantment chest. It, says, it keeps fucking me up. It says magic chest. Now, after they updated this, there is a ton of really good stuff to get from here. I really recommend anybody checking out this first column. Especially, you know, stuff like Herbicide, Bone Crusher, and Holy Wrench. Just good to have on you while you're, you know, PBMing. Don't waste those bones. Even if you're 99 prayer, you can get even more. You know, stuff like Elite Void doesn't just give you prayer like RuneScape, it gives you all these extra bonuses. This one has got to be one of my favorites, honestly. Fucking boosts every single combat skill, just one little heart for five minutes. I'm pretty sure it stays like that, too. Like, it doesn't really drain uh, down, like when you drink a potion. After five minutes, it will obviously go down, though. There he is. This is all the, this is all the dead bodies. This is the dead body of the last uh, Jimmy that got sacrificed to so somebody to try to get a doppelganger. All right. But anyways, guys, like I said, we are also still holding our $200 giveaway. Make sure you enter on the last two videos as well. All you gotta do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your in-game name down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a bit more of an informational one, but hopefully I still made it enjoyable and funny. A lot of people don't know about this. They just think it's another, you know, crystal key chest, but they might be missing out on some really good stuff. So you should definitely check this one out, start saving up for useful stuff, like Elite Void. I think this Enchanted Heart is sick, I kinda wanna get my hands on one of those, 25% though. And yeah, once you get higher level, you can even start getting like some of the end game stuff, like the Grand Boots. Not sure if Grand Gloves are best in slot, but they probably are. But alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please like it if you did. I definitely recommend you hop on Runex. It's just such a popular, it's just fucking so crowded all the time, just look at this. Working Trading Post, really nice community, Ralph's still sitting there showing off. Yeah, see, he has Grand Boots, but then he has different gloves. It's probably just for ranged. Oh my, look at this fuck, fucking Roger. Holy shit. He is a sexy bitch. Look at him. My balls may be small, but my shaft is enormous. HUD's kind of small too now, looking at it. <laughs> I'm gonna chuck a mini-me, because he doesn't think I'll do it. Oh, he's gonna chuck his too. Maybe he'll get luckier than me. His little mini-me is named Lil Dill. I gotta do it for the boys, though. Oh, he's about to do it. <laughs> He's about, to, he's about to sacrifice Lil Del for the chance of the doppelganger. Alright, we'll know if he failed or if he succeeded because it'll show us in the chat or we're gonna hear him say FFS. It's gonna be an FFS. Alright, what do you guys think? A fuck? An FFS? Vote now. A damn? Uh, oh, it's an oof. I, did, uh, I didn't predict the oof. If any of you guys predicted the oof. Rip Lil Del. Well, unlucky to Roger's dad, unlucky to me. Unlucky to RNG, apparently we all got wrecked. You ever notice how the sled, like, look at the fucking torque on this baby. Look at that shit go up. Whoa. Watch when it stops. It goes down. But alright guys, that's gonna be it for our video. If you have any of suggestions for more videos you wanna see on Runex, just let me know. Post in the comments. Send me some mail, you know, write it out in the sky with an airplane, that's all you gotta do. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did, come back for another more videos. And have a nice day.